Hi, I'm Sarah and I flip trashed furniture to give it a new life. I had gotten this orange set for free and it was really sturdy. The drawers were solid wood, but the body was just veneer over MDF or particle board. There must have been some water damage because there were a lot of bubbles and swelling. So when I sanded it down, you're seeing here that I'm exposing the MDF or the particle board underneath. So MDF is medium density fiber board, and there's pros and cons to using it, but a con is that when it does connect with water, it's going to swell and create these bubbles. So I just took some wood filler once I sanded it flat, and I'm rubbing the wood filler in with my fingers to make sure that the roughness of the MDF or the particle board, which is really just kind of bits of sawdust and fibers with an adhesive, to make it really smooth. I could have used Bondo, but Bondo would have been like so smooth that it wasn't going to match the rest of the wood grain in the veneer on the rest of the top. Then after this dried, I needed to spot prime it. So I'm spot priming it with a bin shellac primer. So the reason for this is that the shellac is not only going to make it smooth, but it's also going to help prevent future water damage and future swelling. I'm spot priming because this is expensive <laughs> and also because I knew I was painting it black. So I wanted to go in after with a gray primer. Generally, when you're painting dark, you wanna use a darker primer for better coverage. I'm speeding up the video here a little bit, but you can see I'm overlapping about 40 or 50% just to make sure that I'm getting good quality coverage. And then the same is true for the top. I'm using the gray primer right over where I spot primed, sped up the video, but overlapping about 40 or 50%. Then I painted with my favorite black, and here's the final result. You wouldn't even know that there were bubbles there anymore. It looks totally flat, and using the wood filler is still showing some grain-like consistency, so it totally blends in. You can fix the MDF even if it's bubbled and swelled.